want you to get ready because a big insight is about to come at you. You ready? People with a positive, good, optimistic attitude tend to enjoy the day more and accomplish more than people with a negative, depressing, pessimistic attitude. <laughs> See, I told you, huge insight. You're welcome. Now, we know from research and from our own experience that all that's true. So how do we create and maintain the positive mindset we need to live a happier, healthier life and reach our goals? Well, I'm grateful for what I have and even more grateful for what's coming next. And that gratitude really helps. Now there are eight great tips at the bottom of this post, but I wanna start with this. Start every morning by thinking about all the great things in your life. For most of us, it's pretty easy, coming up with at least a short list. I've got a routine that I go through every day when I wake up, and it gets me up on the right side of the bed. Now I'm a Christian, so for me, this ties into my religion, but you can use the same type of technique whether you're religious or not. For you, instead of saying a thankful prayer, maybe you just have a gratitude list. But as I slowly wake up every morning, I start to pray. I thank God for my wife, my children, my extended family, my friends. I thank him for the fact that I have more than enough to provide my family with food, clothing, shelter. I praise him I was born in the United States of America. And I have so many opportunities to create a life of abundance for myself and enough to help other people as well. I give thanks for having passion and purpose that I love. And I'm grateful for my excellent health. And as I'm saying these prayers, I'm creating beautiful images in my head of everything I'm praying about. And as I do this, I can feel my body and spirit coming more and more alive. And feelings of peace and happiness and ambition, they well up within me. And I get excited about getting out of bed and starting the day. So I spend about three to five minutes doing this. And I know this sounds kind of touchy-feely, but I'm telling you, if you try it for a few days, you're going to be amazed at the results you get. So after I'm done giving thanks, I spend the next three to five minutes just being grateful for my future life with all my major goals achieved. And I put everything in the present tense as if, as if I'm already living it. I'm getting my conscious and subconscious minds focused on my goals. The best way to do that, put everything that you want in the present tense. So I visualize my passion and purpose at the ultimate level. I imagine achieving my goals in every aspect of my life. If you really want to get excited about your future, you've got to describe it in great detail and imagine how it's going to look, feel, sound, smell, and taste. I mean, get your emotions into it. Play the movie of your extraordinary life in your head better than any blockbuster at the multiplex. The more real you make it, the more excited you're going to get. And the more your subconscious mind is going to work on how to pursue those goals for you. Now here are the eight steps to feel great in the morning even if you're not a morning person. Don't miss the last one, okay? One, set your alarm to a soothing sound. Don't get up to a loud buzzer. Tens of great apps for this on your phone. Two, stretch in bed before you get up. Stress and relax each body part. Feels awesome. Three, have a wonderful breakfast. Now maybe not every day if you don't like to cook, but I'm telling you, I get up every morning and make it for the whole family. Eggs, ham, sausage, bacon, whatever. Fruit sometimes. Love it. Four, Put your phone in your pocket without looking at it. Make it a new habit, super rewarding. Five, get your day set on your priorities, your priorities, before you check your emails and your social media. Schedule a set time, maybe two times a day to do it, but not when you first wake up. Six, supercharge your morning. Get up 30 minutes earlier so you can think or pray or read or exercise. Now, I know that sounds horrible if you're not a morning person, but once you make it a new habit, you're never going to stop. Seven, pick someone you can help today. Nothing makes you feel better than when you can help somebody else. And number eight, every time you open your email program, write a quick thank you to at least one person. Now this has to be a real thank you. But when you force yourself to thank somebody you know you should thank, you're going to realize how many people help you and are nice to you and how often we overlook it. Hey, when was the last time you woke up energized and looking forward to the day? When did you do that to create that experience? And how did you do it? Join me on my blog for more, gregorybnap.com. Let's go.